ranking every single Call of Duty Zombies game from worst to best. Now, obviously, this is my own opinion, and if you guys disagree, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, let's get it started. The worst Call of Duty Zombies game of all time is Advanced Warfare. Now, I've really only played a couple maps on this game, and I've gotten the full experience because every map essentially feels the same from what I've played. I don't have any specific feelings toward this mode at all because honestly it is just so bland and there's not really all that much to do after you get your exosuit it just feels like a worse version of treyarch zombies and honestly it should have never been advertised as a zombies game in the first place because it feels nothing like what zombies should feel like every boss zombie in this game is straight cancer and the emp round or whatever it is is also the worst thing ever I could personally never attach to this mode and that is why it is at the bottom. I know you guys are surprised but number 9 Vanguard Zombies. Now yes there is a game worse than Vanguard Zombies somehow I know. If Vanguard had stayed on the path that it was going to in its original launch of the game I do believe it would be at the bottom of this list but it did kind of change itself around near the end of its life cycle. That doesn't excuse the fact that this game was obviously rushed and unfinished even at the start i mean for example we had no pause button for solo we had no pap camo and we had no round base maps we we didn't have any of that all of the maps were unoriginal no, you, no listen there was literally a map too. we had terra maledicta right that was kind of okay it was like in egypt or something and then this other map launches and it's literally the same thing with a green tint to it what how is that original in any sense of the word i had fun maybe on the first playthrough of this game but past that it just got extremely boring and repeatable at number eight we have world war ii zombies now i think it's a little bit unfair for me to rank this properly but i think i've gotten the gist of this game i only say that because i have played only the final reich and the darkest shore and from what i understand the final reich is seen as one of the best maps on the game so i think that my opinions toward this game are completely reasonable i'm gonna be completely honest this game did not feel like call of duty zombies at all it honestly felt like i was playing resident evil instead of call of duty zombies it completely moved away from whatever zombies had started in the first place from what i have seen and the community's reaction it is some of the worst maps in zombies history and you know while i was playing it i was like okay this is not bad but the gameplay really was kind of clunky one thing i will give to world war ii though is it was absolutely aesthetically perfect it felt genuinely terrifying playing this game and you got to give it props for that it kind of pains me to put this here but number seven we have infinite warfare undeniably zombies in spaceland is one of the best maps of all time even compared to the regular treyarch zombies maps but as the dlc went on and on and time went on and on the game got progressively worse raven the redwoods was okay and shaolin was eh but after that all of the maps attack and beast were pretty much unplayable the gameplay was okay but the zombies ai was absolutely terrible they stumbled so weird they were inconsistent which is i know a little bit more realistic than zombies but really we're not shooting for realistic anymore it did have one of the best boss battles of all time with mephistopheles that was one of the coolest things of all time the super easter egg was also amazing with you being able to have directors cut and it's unfortunate that this game was overshadowed because of the burnout of zombies at the time now i might get a little bit of hate for this but number six cold war zombies and we're kind of entering that area where this isn't any bad game by any means but cold war just falls here it had fantastic gameplay but the main problem it had is the story suffered the game was almost too easy and i felt like it was kind of holding your hand throughout the entire playthrough once again just like vanguard it also felt rushed on release and all of the zombies maps 
feel completely unoriginal. It was because of the development time that they took on Outbreak instead of actually trying to develop round based maps, which is part of the reason I'm not a big fan of Outbreak. But you know it's kind of messed up when the majority of the player base is only doing it to unlock camos. Alright, putting this above Cold War is a little bold, but number 5 we have World at War. This was the intro to Zombies, meaning it had absolutely no expectations going into it and it pretty much just started as a passion project by a couple of the developers now yes it's a little bit clanky and janky now in the present day but back then it was absolutely amazing this game had only four maps but each map had its own unique innovation that will be spread to zombies in the future now i won't lie this would be a lot lower if it did not have custom zombies access this is up here simply because of its custom zombies capabilities and what it can do with the engine. Every now and again, I will even go back and play World of War custom zombies because it is just such a nostalgic feeling and the game just has this certain vibe to it that really makes you want to play it again. The game is just so simple and easy to like that it's kind of hard to hate on it. At number four, we have Black Ops 4. I never really understood where all the hate for this game came from because, oh my goodness gracious, does this game have an insane amount of pure content. This game had multiple maps and every map was filled with unique features and easter eggs and even though the majority of those maps were lackluster and not received well by the community there was still so much passion behind each and every one that you have to respect it but then there was the controversial change to systems such as the gobblegum system and how the perks work in this game the hud was absolutely terrible and they changed the movement from black ops 3 for absolutely no reason and this game was just unplayable at launch so it's a great game but it really just needed a better launch for it to skyrocket to what it could have been hitting the top three we have black ops one i'll say it now and i'll most likely say it again black ops one is the most consistent good zombies game we have had all the maps were decent at the least and the ones that were good were absolutely amazing we had call of the dead ascension and moon one of the greatest easter egg endings of all time each map was unique in its own way shangri-la was in the jungle and we were on the moon for goodness sake every wonder weapon was insanely unique and powerful this is when the game shifted from just a simple passion project to an entire staple of the franchise and i won't lie there are a couple overrated maps like kino is heavily overrated but i don't want to go into that discussion right now this game is good hitting the number two we have black ops 2 yes this game did have an insanely rough launch but it is also packed with two of debatably the best zombies maps ever now whether these maps were good or, or bad in your eyes they were each packed with so much passion behind them whether it be jason blundell or jimmy Zelensky. every weapon here felt pretty good i mean the ammo situation was terrible but every weapon was viable. We got new perks on every single map, which is also something that I forgot to mention in the Black Ops 1. And this started the beginnings of what the zombies community would come to form later. I mean, let's just look at this banger list that we had in release. It starts with Mob of the Dead, released by Jason Blundell, and then Jimmy Zielinski pours his heart out into Buried, and then comes along Origins, again developed by Jason Blundell, and then in the next game, Black Ops 3, we had Shadows of Evil, debatably one of the best zombies maps ever, and Der Eisendrack. We were on a roll! Although it had a rough launch, Black Ops 2 still holds a special place in each and every one of our hearts. Yes, it is unoriginal, you saw it coming. Number one, Black Ops 3. This was the hype of the zombies community. Everybody was making videos on zombies. We had the Z house. Everybody was having an amazing time. And honestly, I am so sad that I never got to experience this in real life. Every map was a banger from the launch map 
to the end. Zombies Chronicles launches on this game, and the hype is real. The movement was amazing. The weapons were amazing. There is just so many great things about this game. The Gobblegum system was an amazing system, whether you like them or not, because it introduced a new layer of zombies that we never thought we would see. There is a reason that people come back to this game every single day. And how could I forget to mention that the custom zombies community for this game? Oh, oh my gosh. Insane. There is definitely a reason why this thing is top 10 on Steam. Nothing we have ever had will ever come close. To black ops 3 anyways that's it with the video i'm sure everybody in the entire comment section and the world is going to disagree with me but if you do let me know why and with that i will see you guys in the next one peace yeah because i got it like that flow so smooth like i got it on tap yeah and i'ma say it be a good night while i'm on my yingling while i'm drinking bud light uh can you get it when you miss me